Hello, my name is Robert Llewellyn and I started a YouTube channel nine years ago called Fully Charged. Now, the show covers the enormous changes that are taking place right now in the world of energy and transport. So yeah, electric cars and everything connected to them. I'm happy to say it's going really well, it's growing really fast and we're covering more and more topics. Not just cars, electric buses, trucks, bikes, vans, boats, planes, ships. Uh, not just not just transportation, but also renewable energy, energy storage, smart grids, smart meters, smart homes, zero carbon homes, shopping centers that should have solar panels on the roof, electric car chargers at the car park. We're getting there. It's happening. But what we've realized is even if we put out an episode every day, in fact, every hour, we'd never be able to cover the huge amount of inventions, of new developments, of new technologies that are emerging minute by minute. So we decided to launch a book. It's called The Fully Charged Almanac 2020. Now, the reason for the date is it won't come out until about November next year. So it's in time for the year 2020 when, believe me, some stuff is going to be happening unless the world ends. Now, we're using a crowdfunded publishing company to do this. They're called Unbound, and they are incredibly successful, and they are really good at making really nice books. We think this is a brilliant way of informing people about the full range of topics that Fully Charged tries to cover, and why these technologies are so critically important in the next 10 years. We've gathered together over 50 of the best specialists in their fields to write the various sections of the book. It will be lavishly illustrated. It'll be a really beautiful book to have and to hold. Now, we're already at 55% funded on this book, and we really believe that this, this book needs to exist. It's going to be important. And if you order a copy, you will help ensure that it does. And by way of thanks, uh, depending on the level of your pledge, you'll not only get the book, but your name will be in the back of it. Now, when we launched this project on the Fully Charged channel, we did get a bit of kickback from people who said, why are you using old dead technology like printing and paper? This book should be digital only and you're just wasting trees, etc. Which is perfectly valid criticism if you don't think about anything else. Okay, so what happens with paper is you, you saw down trees, you turn them into pulp, you turn that into paper, you print a book on it, and the book stays around for a long time. I've got books in my little shelving unit that are sometimes 40, 50 years old. They're still holding the carbon that was captured in those trees 50 or 60 years ago. I haven't gone, I haven't burnt the books. I haven't burnt any books. I don't burn books. It, so it's a way of storing carbon that's very important. That might sound like a spurious argument, but I think it has some truth in it. And books are still an incredibly powerful tool, especially when they're as informative and beautiful as this one will be. And while we're on the topic, watching this video on a computer or a phone or even on your telly does have an impact, as does reading a web page or performing a Google search. It's a huge impact that is kind of hidden from us. I mean, your device, whatever it is, say it's a phone or a laptop or a tablet or a computer or a telly, the actual amount of energy used by that as you perform, say, a Google search, pretty small. Uh, then that goes you know, to your Wi-Fi or, or to the uh, 3G or 4G network. That uses quite a lot of power. Uh, that then goes through the fiber optic network, uses a lot of power through a whole series of routers all around the world, uses a lot of power, and then to a server farm, which uses staggering amounts of power. A report that came out recently uh, showed that Bitcoin mining uses the same amount of electricity as the entire nation of Ireland. So when we say digital, there is not a zero carbon footprint for the digital activities that we all take part in. There is quite a large impact. And when we say books are really old fashioned and they're really wasteful, they're actually not. They're actually very environmentally friendly. It's also important to mention that the paper that Unbound use is from very responsibly farmed timber. It's in fact the Forest Stewardship, it's very difficult to say, the Forest Stewardship Council certified paper. So that means for every tree they cut down, they plant 10 more. It's that kind of thing. And actually we are planting an enormous amount of trees, which is really, really good. And one final important point about books. <laughs> okay, so your normal publisher, 
your every day publisher, they launch a new book and they print loads of them, big piles of them, loads and loads, truckloads of them in the hope that they sell them. And if they don't sell them, they take them back to the factory and they pulp them and they turn it back into paper and they do it again, which has an enormous energy footprint in order to do that. We're not doing that. We're only printing the exact amount of books that we've sold, that we've had ordered from Unbound. So there's no waste. Okay, I might get two copies and I might keep one squirreled away, which you could say is a waste. But basically, we're only printing as many as we've pre-sold, which is a much better way of producing books. So if you're in the slightest bit interested, there's a link beneath this video which will take you to the Unbound site, which will explain in detail with a lot of information about what the book's about, who's writing it, and how much it costs to pledge to support it from very little to ludicrously large amounts. Don't go for the big amounts, that's silly. Um, and lot, and mostly in the middle. And uh, the book will come out next November, October, November next year in time for Christmas. So if you're looking for a Christmas present for next year, some people plan ahead that far, this could be the ideal solution. Anyway, that's it.